Diplonomidae is a biflagellated unicellular protist of the Diplanomida order, and is potentially the most diverse and common planktonic organism in the ocean. Although this family is currently made up of three named genera, Diplonema, Rhynchopus, and Hemistasia, there still exist thousands of unnamed genera. Organisms are generally colorless and oblong in shape, with two flagella emerging from a subapical pocket. They possess a large mitochondrial genome composed of fragmented linear DNA. These non coding sequences must be massively trans spliced, making it one of the most complicated post transcriptional editing process known to eukaryotes. Etymology The word diplonomidae come from the Greek words diplo, meaning two, and nemet, meaning thread. Together, diplonomidae roughly translates to two threads, likely referring to the characteristic two flagella of the organism. History of knowledge Primary studies done in the 1900s by Griezmann and Scuya had initially grouped diplonomidae, or more specifically, the diplonema and Rhynchopus taxa, with the euglenids. This was due to the two groups sharing many morphological similarities with the euglenids, such as metaboly, locomotion and a microtubule reinforced feeding apparatus. However, this conclusion was met with some controversy, as diplonomids lack characteristic features shared by all euglenids, such as possession of pellicle strips and paraxonemal rods on their flagella. Instead, they were placed in the euglenozoan phylum and shared this taxon with the kinetoplastids and euglenids. The inclusion of Rhynchopus and Diplonema in the family Diplonomidae was later confirmed through nuclear 18 srRNA analysis. As of now, Rhynchopus and Diplonema are part of the classical Diplonomidae subgroup, whilst Hemistasia is part of the nonclassical Diplonomidae subgroup. Recently, there had been debates as to whether Diplonomidae were more closely related to the euglenids or kinetoplastids. It was not until analysis of cytosolic heat shock proteins that a sister relationship between the diplonomids and kinetoplastids was proposed. This was further supported through phylogenetic analysis, which discovered that diplonomidae possess a functional splice leader RNA that is characteristic of the kinetoplastids. Additionally, the amino acid tryptophan is encoded by codon TGA in kinetoplastids and diplonomids, whereas in euglenids, the regular codon is used instead. Nevertheless, despite the similarities between kinetoplastids and diplonomids, the two taxa are still distinct from each other. Diplonomidae still lack a kinetoplast, and have a unique bi flagellated trophic phase not seen in kinetoplastids. Presently, the kinetoplastids are regarded as the sister group to the diplonomidae. Although there are only three named genera within the Diplonomidae, environmental sequencing performed by the recent Terra Ocean expedition concluded there are potentially thousands of genera, suggesting that pelagic Diplonomidae are the most diverse planktonic eukaryotes in the oceans. Habitat and ecology Although Diplonomidae are generally predators, some species display parasitic life strategies. Diplonomidae display a rich diversity in marine and freshwater environments, with their relative abundance increasing with depth. The diplonomids that exist in these different environments are genetically distinct, and exhibit slightly different lifestyles. The classic diplonomids i.e. Diplonema and Rhynchopus are benthic, whereas the marine diplonomids, which include Hemistasia, are planktonic. There are potentially thousands of unknown marine diplonomidae species, with this diversity highly stratified in accordance to depth. Although molecular sequencing confirms the existence of these unnamed marine diplonomidae, information regarding their morphology and lifestyle is absent. As marine diplonomidae are the most abundant and genetically diverse protists and potentially eukaryotes in the sea, there are strong implications that they play a key role in aquatic ecosystems. As of now, this exact role is unknown. Description of the organism Morphology and anatomy Classical diplonomids i.e. Diplonema and Rhynchopus are colorless and oblong in shape. They are approximately 20 micrometers in length and possess a microtubule layer underneath their plasma membrane. Adjacent to it is a mitochondrium with discoidal cristae. They also possess two flagella of equal length, both of which lack paraxial rods. The two basal bodies originate from a subapical pocket, which merges with an adjacent feeding apparatus. 
This feeding apparatus is surrounded by many food vacuoles and reinforced by microtubules. Nonclassical diplonomidae, i.e., hemistasia, are diverse in size but share many morphological aspects with the classic diplonomids. However, a great majority of these marine diplonomidae have never been seen, with their existence only confirmed through molecular analysis. Although diplonomidae do not possess pellicular strips like euglenids, they still move via metaboly. Diplonomidae also exhibit the compartmentalization of glycolytic and gluconeogenic enzymes into peroxisomes. These organelles are referred to as glycosomes, and as a characteristic feature also shared with their sister taxon, the linotoplastids. Life cycles Diplonomidae are capable of sexual reproduction, as genes involved in meiosis have been found. Although marine diplonomids appear to reproduce sexually, not much is known about diplonomidae reproduction as euglenozoans rarely demonstrate sexual processes. Genetics Diplonomidae have a very unique mitochondrial DNA arrangement. Although diplonomidae possess a large mitochondrial genome, these do not contain any intact full-sized genes. Instead, their mitochondrial DNA consists of linear gene fragments of different sizes. Because each fragment is both full of repeats and incomplete, individually they are unable to code for a gene themselves. Instead, fragments are transcribed and spliced together using their own specialized trans-splicing machinery. Once spliced together, the transcript undergoes extensive editing to become recognizable RNA. This is accomplished by either uracil insertion, nucleotide deanimation, or substitution, which eventually generates a fully mature and translatable transcript. The diplonomidae genome contains a spliced leader RNA gene, which confirms their use of mRNA spliceosome dependent trans splicing during nuclear expression. Diplonomids possess the GAP3 gene which is specifically found in cyanobacteria and proteobacteria. This is likely due to lateral gene transfer following the divergence of diplonomids from the euglenoids. As to date, this is one of the most supported examples of lateral gene transfer from a bacterium to eukaryote and may have implications for diplonomid acquisition of biochemical abilities. List of named species List of named species Although presently made up of less than a dozen named species, the existence of thousands of unknown diplonomidae species has been confirmed. Diplonema nigricans Diplonema papillatum Diplonema ambulator Diplonema metabolicum Diplonema brevisiliata Rhynchopus uleides, Rhynchopus amatus, Rhynchopus cachinodiscivorus, Rhynchopus literalensis, Hemistasia pheocysticola. References <laughs>